here's this thing that, okay. Now, I have no idea who Trail Motor Apex Racing are. I think they might be like the next uh, Liberty Walk going by all the stuff we're seeing here. So this, what you're looking at here is a Hakoska with a NASCAR V8 engine. Don't even ask. Okay, so this was built by Daigo Saito. I'm guessing on commission. And kind of like, you know, well, like what we see at Liberty Walk, these cars are sort of a combination of, you know, new school and old school, like a bit of Bossazoku, a bit of supercar, a bit of this, that, and the other. あ、ご存知ですか。ユーチューブ行こう。あ、ありがとうございます。シミュレーターあります。あ、見た見たさっき。でも、ちょっと教えて。はいはい。トレイルモーターアペックスレーシングって何ですかあ、新しくできたレー
uh, Magikarp Gyarados basically follows this exact pattern. And this one is, uh, it's the god of uh, thunder and wind. At, I wonder if they've, uh, yeah, so this is, this dragon has three claws, so it's not the most powerful dragon. The most powerful dragons have four claws. So if you see, if you see someone with a, a tattoo, with a dragon with four claws, uh, be polite to them. What rims are those? Uh, I don't know. They look kind of like Tom's. Like the Tom's force, but oh, actually it's written there, what is that? Ugh. これ、2100人ぐらい見てます。すごいよ。どう Okay. Air it down. Just a, just, a, just a minute chat, we have to we gotta let the compressor air up. <laughs> it's got the uh, the old school key alarm going. Ding dong. But it's got a roll cage too. This is cool. Akurimo. Ah, <laughs> more. So we got the four door Japan and the four door Hakoska. <laughs> These guys have a lot of money for some reason. Don't ask where they got it from. I'm guessing it's cups.
Yes, yeah, uh, these are pretty cool. All right, we gotta keep moving. So there you go, Trail Motor Apex Racing. So I guess I can, uh, if I wanna find out more about them, I can just ask Arisa. I didn't really explain who she was. So the, the girl, or the lady we spoke to before, her name's Arisa. Uh, she is um, sort of like Daigo Saito's manager. And she's the wife of Carmack T&E. Uh, Ueno. Do we have any GSR fans in chat? I think we do. <laughs> so, latest gen of Good Small Racing's GTR. Hello Nav, you made it just in time. I saw your chat by the way. Uh, your message. So this year they've gone for that. I don't know what kind of style coloring you call this. Black, pink and green. I guess sort of, uh, I don't know, what would you call it? This this look. Like this year Miku's got like a green face shield and sort of space suit sort of thing. So like, space hacker, digital, cyber, something or other. Space NASCAR. Cyber sports. I don't know, but it looks it's cool. It is a good uh, it is a good look. Speaking of uh, sort of cyber futury sort of stuff, here look it's uh, Canada's bike. I guess it's a work in progress. Cool. There's actually a guy on Twitter that I've been following who's building his own uh, like version of Canada's bike. And I'm sort of waiting for him to finish it and I want to maybe go and uh, check it out when he's done. Okay, let's keep going. Now I think we're at the end of this hall, so we should probably head over to the uh, the international hall to finish up. Because there's a bunch of cool stuff over there that we haven't seen yet. All right. What happened to that small option room on the, with the orange floor? Uh, they're not running it in that room this year. All right, so North Hall is where they have some of the more sort of niche, uh, the niche stuff because the stands here are cheaper I think. Yeah. Am I going to be here tomorrow or the day after? No, this is the only stream you're getting. 
I don't want to come here when all the people are coming because, uh, you know, Japan's doing pretty good right now as far as spicy cough is concerned. But it is going up. And uh, unfortunately, I'm in a position where if I get the spicy cough, I'm kind of fucked. So I've got to avoid it as much as I can. And look, today we have nice open floors where we can walk around easily and we can also have good signal because not everybody is using their, in their internet. Ugh. So, uh, キサさんもこと白いつやる。やりますか。やります。じゃあ応援します。あ、いいよ。このいろ。でしょ。いい。はい、いいですよ。いい。はい、いいですよ。いい。はい、いいですよ。いい。はい、いいですよ。いい。は
Here's 100 bits, thank you. <laughs> well, we're on our way, but no problem. I touched it. Yay! Anyway, uh, I've always liked the look of the uh, the old Group A's with the standard kind of body kit. I mean, not only the Japanese ones, you know, the Australian ones back in the day. Uh, the ran at Bathurst. You know, the Winfield and the GIO. <coughs> Sponsored. Uh, Gibson Motorsport built cars. I always thought they were really cool. You know, back when uh, Bathurst used to run cars like, uh, other, cars other than Ford and Holden. Oh, thanks for the bits. Thank you, Supra Oppai. Ah, oh, well. Mate, he's dreaming. What is he asking? 176,000? Mate, telling him he's dreaming. This car's like, it's a 1992. No, it's a 91, isn't it? Yeah, 91. It's a 91, mate. It's old. Look at all the damage on it. Look, the panel gap's bad. There's just tape holding the lights on, mate. He's dreaming for 176. Dad. Go, tell him to, go tell him to kick rocks for asking that kind of price. Bloody hell. It'll be on the market forever. <laughs> oh, well. Well, I guess we just have to build our own cool-looking R32, right? Anyway, uh, this is another, this is a Japanese YouTuber, Gari Dori Kai. Uh, I drove one of his cars, I drove his uh, crown at ABC Circuit one time. He was nice enough after my R32 blue. He let me drive his uh, crown around uh, Higashi, yeah, Higashi. This is a Mark II though. This is cool. This is a this is a Hinamatsuri themed. Oh, it's got a display in the back. Oh yeah, look, look, look. There we go. So this is a Hinamatsuri themed car. It's really well done too. So Hinamatsuri is uh, the girls' festival, and the girls' festival is. Uh, I guess a festival for, you know, healthy, happy girls. So any house that has a girl, uh, they put out that little display, the, the one you just saw there, it's like a, you know, an emperor and an empress sort of thing. All right, so yeah, we have we have a little miniature one of these displays in my house, and you put it out, uh, and you sort of decorate it in a place in the house, and it's there to protect your girls. Like all these little things, you know, the the mochi cakes, the lanterns, the the fusama screens, all that sort of stuff. It all has like meanings, you know. The opposite is uh, the boys' festival, and the boys' version of this is like a kabuto helmet, like a samurai helmet. And you can see this the on the on the female doll. See, it's got like multiple, multiple layers of kimono. That sort of means like they're you know rich and successful. You know, the more layers you wear, you know, the richer and more successful you are, sort of thing. So yeah, there you go. That's cool. I like the, uh, the design's done really well. It has many layers, like, <laughs> like an onion donkey. Layers. This power has steelies on it. This is kind of sick. That's kind of cool, isn't it? The power with the uh, fender flares and steelies. Oh, 
again, so, <laughs> so they've made up a a 350Z to look like a fair lady. Has that same uh, mustard paint. So again, this place here is, uh, these display cars are from the Nissan Automobile Technical College. So like those cars we saw before, same thing, students made this. You can see here, look. Oh, Chad, you want to ask him? あの、今、名前入手してるんだけど、あの、この前夏に行った時、これチャットで。チャットがあの、質問があった。こういう車を作るの、なんていうかね。お金がどうするんですか。はい、あの、学校が何十万円使っていいよとか。あ、学校から。
steel four spokes, like the pressed four spokes that um, Nissans used to have. But it's a two-piece. Maybe. Looks like a blender. Yeah, true. Okay. <laughs> All right, so they've uh, made their own. Oh, okay, so it's like a sort of a Kaido Racer IMSA style. So this is meant to be a. This was the original car is a Celica, right? Yeah, IMSA, oh there you go, someone, who said that? Toge guy, yeah, it looks like an, the IMSA, an IMSA Celica, but it's a Corona. Oh wait, we're not allowed to say that, are we? <laughs> Good job. <laughs> he just said Japanese Bosozoku, so there you go. That's kind of cool, instead of going for the, you know, copying the Japanese style racing car for the bosses lock. He's gone for the American style. Steel wheels are a bit, yeah, the wheels could be, yeah, they're a bit, that's a bit of an afterthought it looks like. But the rest of it looks nice. Yeah, a spicy cough car, there you go. Of course, on a one of these sorts of cars you need the small diameter wooden wheel, you need the bubble shifter, and you need to remove the headrests. Oh, that's nice. いや、これ持ってるから。あ、そうか、それでいいか。でも、こういう車が必要なアクセサリーはこれでしょ。そうそうそう。で、これを外すでしょ。外す。そうそうそう。で、ついついちゅうかも。そうそうそう。はい。それ
I don't know what to compare it to. But uh, they often sponsor motorsport, like here and there. It's made by a company called Cherio. Or Cheerio. I think they pronounce it Cherio, but... Uh, it's it's one of those brands that's like an, it's like a second like a th well, it's not even second like third rate soft drink brand. So it's like you know Coca Cola, Pepsi, whatever. Like it's like one of those brands. But I quite like it. I, I enjoy drinking it. It has a lot of uh, I think it has caffeine in it too. Uh, Mahu said it so it's like Fago. Yeah, that's a that's probably a good example. I'm speaking Japanese, sorry. There he is. Here's Fukada's car. Here's Koya Red. Come on. Remember before I, I spoke to like a short people? He's the uh, he's the second tallest D1 Grand Prix driver. Yes. Hi, Come my on. name is uh, Fukada, Tadahiro Fukada. Tadahiro Fukada, uh -huh. and this is his JZX100. He is a fellow JZX100 Mark II enjoyer. This is his car. He's here on the Koyorad stand. So I've known him for a long time. Uh, everything about this stand I like. I like Koyorad. I like, I like Fukada. I like Mark II. So everything about this I like. So, yeah. so he'll be he's gonna be in uh, FD Japan again this year so I don't watch FD but if you do make sure you cheer for him as you can see flaky paint he's a flaky paint man he's also from down in West Japan so all the West Japan dudes like their flaky paint And uh, Flaky Paint adds an extra 32 horsepower, roughly. Uh, he's running the uh, the URS kit that they make for uh, for uh, JZX100. And as far as my S15 goes, once again we will be running Koya Red. We'll be getting them one of them again. Unfortunately, from last time, unfortunately from uh, last time, it was in the JZX100. It looked okay at first until I saw that half of it had roughly, you know, roughly half of it had melted off. You couldn't see it on the on the video uh, that I shot of the car when it burned out. Uh, for those of you who are new here and you don't know what's going on, uh, I used to have a JZX100 Mark II like the car you just saw. Unfortunately, it burned down in a, in a fire in the paint shop and it no longer exists. So, yeah, but uh, we'll be getting back into a JZX100 sooner rather than later, I hope. Uh, I'm trying. To guess, we'll go. We'll, we'll look at their 40 soon. Don't worry, Chad. I saw it too. What is this? Zero から作った. Zero から作った. Ah, Chad. And they made it. They made it from zero. Now I'm recording. Ah, 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 
えなんかあこういう車かっこいいなそういうイメージで作りたいってありますかそれに合わせて作りながら。最近の車って結構なんか、あの近未来的というか、はいはい、電気自動車なんですけど、逆に、逆に、なるほど、ちょっとレトロ感が、そういうところを狙ってる。ああ、そっか。今説明している。あの彼の髪の毛かっこいいだって。<笑>えじゃああのそのデフはジムニーのじゃない。あ違うね。もう全部あの中国さん。インターネットさん。あなるあ。日本の道ってやっぱそういうあすごいね。あのね。はいチャイ。What's like What's the game？ あのなんか秀夫小島秀夫が当てたゲーム最近。物を運ぶの。チャー、what's the what's the Hideo Kojima game where you carry things? Death Stranding. That's it. De De doesn't this look like one of the cars from Death Stranding? そのゲームの中にこれみたいの車がありますよ。Because it's tall, right? Kind of, yeah, the lift. Of, yeah, 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 right? Strand type van. There you go. So there you go. 面白い。ええー。いや、まあ、こういうレトロ洋画かっこいいね。レトロ感がみんな好きで。好きでしょう。ね。まあ、その中にもちょっとあの、近未来的なヘッドライト。ヘッドライトで、まあ、いいと思う。好み。こういうやつ。<笑>じゃあ、ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。that's cute。I like it。Oh, chat. Okay, chat, chat. Alexi, is Alexi live? Live, yes. Live, yes. Two thousand people. Two thousand. Yes. What I would like to do with a Pro Box. So, okay. So this car here is the uh, Toyota Pro Box, and also the. The regular one is called the Pro Box. This one has a different name, I think. The Pro Box Exceed or something like that. I don't know. Now, they previously have run one make series of these cars at various tracks. Like they race them. And because they're, you know, what, these are the sorts of cars that like company reps drive around in with like product in the back. And Usually, when you see these on the expressways, they're usually doing at least 50k over the speed limit because the people driving them just don't give a fuck and want to get where they're going as soon as possible because they hate their life and they hate their job and they hate their stupid boss. Okay? Now, another funny thing about these cars is there's so many of them you know, built, only companies buy them. You know, they use them for five years or whatever it is, like until they're worth nothing on the tax, you know, the, on the tax sheet. Because you know, when you when you buy a new a new vehicle or equipment, you can only subtract money off it from your tax return for like the first five years, I think it is, for a car in Japan. So they're essentially worthless after that. They can't, you know, take money off them. So they sell them. So there's so many of these secondhand. And they all get sold to Africa and places like that. And apparently, I can't remember which country it is. I think it's like Nigeria or Ghana or something like that. These cars have the worst reputation because everyone who drives these drives them like an absolute maniac. Or、well, something like that. I don't know. It's, it's, it's hilarious. It could be Kenya. Yeah, it's like. It's like. Kenya or Ghana or like one of those, you know, the more wealthy African countries. It's called a Pro Box. Like if you go on, if you go on YouTube and search like Pro Box,、uh, you'll find videos from some African country. It's hilarious. I was like, what the hell? They have this entirely different image overseas. It's hilarious. Like a maniac. Here you go, chat. We're taking donors for this as well. 
So if you, if you see Japanese money and you want to know what it is, you knock off one, two, you cut off two zeros and that's what it is. Okay, so two million. Two million dollars for an F40 uh, race car. Uh, never gonna own an F40, am I? <laughs> So these also used to run in uh, the JGTC back in the day. Because, you know, they run various different classes at the same time. With, uh, you know, with, with other, with, you know, different classes of cars run at the same time, so. Yeah, remember, that's, uh, that's starting price. Here he goes, a, a crawler, a rock crawler Jimny. It's got the front and rear steering. So as you can see, a lot more, uh, a lot smaller and more lightweight than most of these sorts of cars you see overseas. So that's the steering wheel and you can see that little lever there, that's for the rear steering. So the, the rear steering just works on a ram. You, you pull it forward, the wheels go one way, you push it, it goes the other way. Or left, and, is it left and right? I don't know, I've never driven one. It's forward and backwards, so I guess they're used to it. Look at the old 40. Oh, Toyota Land Cruiser. Unrestored. Look at this. Why do they have so many dials and screens? Um, it probably has uh, cameras. Like uh, cameras so they can see. I don't know, let's have a look. Do they have, um, I mean, it's got like, it's, it's got rock lights. Probably underneath as well, maybe. Yeah, look, it's got rock lights there. And I'm gonna guess and say that he has like rear-facing cameras somewhere. So he can see out the back. That's probably what those screens are for. Toyota diesel, so an unkillable car. Looks like something you'd see in uh, Something you'd see in South Africa, except it's got Recaro, it's got Recaros on it, look. Ah, domo. There we go. Tofu car. Does he have the cup holder? He doesn't. It's got the base model steering wheel. Fake. So good. Oh, by the way, something I never showed. Uh, when I went to... Oh, the option stand. Should we do that now? Fuck it, let's do it now. When I went to uh, the workshop, uh, what workshop? Um, the the, 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 uh, the Nigel workshop. When I went there, remember I went to the Nigel workshop and showed his A86s that he had, like the replica one. and how it had the original Admiral steering wheel. Well, see, the thing is, he had like four of those hanging in his, uh, in his office. Like three of the proper Admirals and like one of the regular Admirals. And I was thinking like, I should film these and put them up, yeah, you know, put them in the video just, you know, for, give them a bit of clout. But then I thought, 
No, people are going to like call him up and want to like buy them off him, so I didn't do it. Good job. Gazelle Pine. Maji? Honto? Definitely. Did you know? Gazelle Punch. Uh, he, you probably know the name Gazelle Punch from the JZX100 with the Audi front that he built back in the day. He's a cool guy. He knows what to do with the fiberglass. And he's got this uh, S. Eh? S. So he's got this uh, Honda S660. And he said he's going to drift it. <laughs> he's got a diff in it, apparently. Pet no Mizu to. Ah, Esa? Yes, Esa. Esa. He makes like these sort of custom fiberglass things. It's like a, uh, you put your pet bowl in there. Ob not like, obviously not straight into it. Like you wouldn't put like food directly on the fire, but like you put the, the, the bowl in there like that. That's funny. Shark bowl. Today is good. I don't have anyone. Today is good. Yeah. Ah, here it is. We found it. Is the HKS Yaris? So Akira said that the the Yaris was somewhere else. So I guess it's over here on the options stand. M3. I like that jade green color on it. It's nice. Look at that. That is a nice color. Tan interior. Uh oh. I just saw the engine bay. It's got an LS3. Oh no. Uh, the wheels are AC Schnitzer. So the wheels are German, the car is German, and the engine is American. So Kazama-san's drift Lexus. I'm not sure what the uh, series he's going to enter this in. I'm guessing. FD? I don't know. Speak American, please. Well, these cars, I tell you what, they're too small. You can't hook up the horse float to them because they're too goddamn small. 660cc engine. I, I don't even know how big that is. How big is that? <laughs> Let's have a look at the Spoon NSX. I just saw that. That's not Kazama's comp car. He built that separate one as a demo. Ah, I see. Okay. Oh, this would sound good. Does it have open intakes on it? It has a box. Oh, it's all carbon fiber on the inside and stripped out. Ugh. I'm guessing it has to have uh, airbox for spec or something. I don't know, I just thought it might have like, you know, a different kind of intake on it. We have a look at the grey 8.6. Yes, you may. I was about to get to that. Oh, that. Oh, okay. This is um, 
This is the engine from the GR Yaris, I think. Yeah, it is. Look at that. So it's got three coil packs, so it's only three cylinder. Yeah, I saw this on social media somewhere. So what they've done is they've taken the engine from the GR Yaris and uh, installed it here in this 86, or A86 I should say. Yeah, so three cylinder. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, one point, so it's a 1.6, so it's the same, the G16E. Daddy Gia Hachiroku. So that's, the shop's called Daddy Motorworks. That's cool. Wonder how it goes though. Yeah, I'm not a fan of exhaust that goes straight up and out. I'm just, I don't like them for some reason. Oh, good job. Good job. Good job. That's a Manapi and one of the guys from Option. That's cool. Alright, so this is a bit of a legendary car. It's the Veilside GTR. You can see this car on old uh, top speed videos. Yeah, yeah, they brought, they dragged it out for this show. Have we seen the Veil? Was there a Veil side stand here or not? Because I do know they've they've started redesigning kits for new cars. Yeah, well, they're they're drag tires. That's why. So four wheel drive drag car. I don't know anything about how much power it used to run or what kind of times it did. I guess it's not really relevant to, you know, these days. But this car used to be everywhere and on all the videos back in the day. I missed the Valside booth, did I? Oh, okay. Sorry. I'm sure you could find it online. I don't know. I had one of the map things, but I lost it. Is it in my pocket? No, it's not in my pocket. By the way, thank you to everyone who's resubbed today. Uh, the reason why there's no alerts today is because, unfortunately, when I went to start up this morning, the server was uh, crashed. And I wasn't able to get a hold of the guy to restart it for me until almost an hour after I wanted to start. So I just thought, screw it, I'll stream directly to Twitch instead. So we don't have, uh, you know, if we drop out, the stream drops out and we can't have alerts, unfortunately. So I apologize for that. Uh, he has since contacted me and it's, it's up and running now, but I didn't want to reconnect and have to you know, connect again. So there you go. That car set the record for option videos, 0 to 300 at 13.72 and did the quarter mile in 8.4. Yeah, that's pretty fast. That's still, that's still pretty fast. And that's like 8.4 on poorly prepared, slightly downhill circuits, uh, drag strip probably. They just painted over the rust. They just painted over the rust holes. Dude, I should do this with the uh, with the uh, with the uh, the beans. What do you think? Just paint over the rust holes. This is tough as hell. I love this. I love the uh, the old school interior too. Look, like the the hound's tooth with the leather. 
the houndstooth leather interior. That's very cool. Star Road. Those are the uh, signature Star Road wheels. And Star Road does a lot of retro stuff like this. Tri Twisted Drifter, the Toyota Pro Box. P R O B O X. Pro Box. Okay, now. Something I'm sort of interested in is down here on the other side of this fence is the Tokyo Outdoor Show. Now I'm kind of curious, can we just walk in and out of it or not, Iron Man? I think we can. So there's a car, not a car, there's a a bike in here that we have to look at. Now, I'm wondering if we just walk in and out. Yep, no problem. Okay. All right, we're going to do it. Where's your Where's your Mita Gatta. Okay, so chat, see this? See this thing here? This is not a gaming PC. This is a bike. Okay. Now I have already met these these uh, these guys. I haven't put the video up yet because I'm going to be putting it up with a, later, a video later on with the Moto Compo. But this thing here is sort of the spiritual, not predecessor. What's the opposite of predecessor? This is a fold-out electric bike successor. There you go, thank you. I should probably have something to eat. This is the spiritual successor of the Moto Compo. こういうちっちゃなこういう可愛い可愛いおもちゃからもスタートしていてこれも変形するんですけどトランスフォーミングしてあの畳めるバイクスケールキットってあそれ売ってるの今最近発売も一応してるおおすげえ so chat, you can see that uh, they started off with a toy and they're working from there. So the guy who designed it here, he used to work at Takara Tomi, which is a you know big toy company, which also does Transformers. So there you go. to do it. That was satisfying. <laughs> There is actually someone performing something. There's no food trucks or drinks in the show. I don't know. I would eat before you come.
Basically covered most of the show. Where should we go? Wait, is Valeside here? Is it here? Where? Is it in this hall? Yes? Go back to Booba. Go back to return to Booba. I walked past it. Well, it can't have been that good. What, here? Where? I walked past it. Ah! Oh, okay, 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 okay. I got it. I got you. It's very over the top. That has, I will admit, has a lot of presence. Side, of course, over the top. Yeah, it is. That's not bad.
know that girl? She's from Silent Hire. Okay. Hey, Silent Hire, mo yatte masu ka? Ah. Hey. Chat. Who? Which one of you just noticed that she was from Silent Hire? Gerhard Chen, you are a freak. Yeah, I'm here. I'm watching the show. There. Ah, no, this. Like, chat. Ah, comment. Ah, so the comment was, "Who?" Ah, that guy is Silent Hill. Is it? Did you notice? Did you notice? Ah, boy. There you go, Gerhard Chen. You got a, you got a clap. Creeper powers maximum. Creeper powers maxed out. Good job. <laughs> すごいね。ありがとうございます。I swear to God, scroll up. Ah, yeah, okay, all right. You want, you want, you want to talk to talk to girl? インスタある？インスタありますよ。お教えても大丈夫？何ですか？あ、えっとアットマークです。アットマークのやつ。アットマーク。小文字で新た。え？あら。新た。新たユイ。アンダーバーユイ。わかった。Okay, chat. Work that out. アラタ A R A T A. I'm guessing underscore ユイ Y U I underscore. There you go. Maho, is that it? I'm checking. Ah, yeah, that's her. Yep, that's it. 1997. Jeez, she was born in 1997. God damn. Okay, there you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. She just jumped a hundred followers. <laughs> nice. It looks good from the back too. I mean, it, it's completely over the top, but I like it. I don't know what is it like. All the all those manufacturers like Liberty Walk and also Veilside. Like a lot of the time, I look at their cars and go like, eh, yeah, whatever. But they're all really good this year. I think. I don't know why. And what sort of merch they've got? Jar. あ本当、はい？ありがとうございます。今あの生配信してます。あそうなんです。はい。I kind of want a T-shirt, eh? なんかに。エルよりあれとね、エクセルより大きいあります。ツエルどっちがツエル？ツエルかな。在庫。どういうのがいいですか？あ見てる？あこれさっき撮った動画。あそうかそうか。あありがとうございます。すいません。あ、ついに見つけた。オレンジワン、but yeah they didn't have my size。はい。頑張ってください。ありがとうございます。I didn't record that part. God damn! I've only got like seven minutes of、uh, memory card left. We're not asking the girl behind the counter her Instagram. Come on, that's not her job. Booth to your left. Oh, someone wanted to see that.、Uh, oh yeah, we, we didn't look at those the、uh, Celicas. Celicas. 
Have you all seen the Eddie Murphy uh, ads for the Celica? I say Celica because I'm Australian, but it's Celica. Like the Americans actually got it right. Because in Japanese they call it Celica. It's the 185. Sorry, one, uh, ST165. With a 3S GE Turbo. So this is the, the Beams engine before it was the Beams. I mean, the 3S Turbo is used a lot in motorsport. And the ST205 Series Celica. Sorry, Celica. No, it wasn't a Supra. Yes, I, I saw some before. Someone said it was a Supra. It's not. It's a Celica. Oh, wait. Is it? Yeah, it's a ST205. These are cool. You could also get these with the 3S. This is the famous uh, generation that had the... Cheetah intake. So what they uh, what they do on the rally cars? You know, they had an intake uh, restrictor to try and limit horsepower. But what Toyota did was they installed it with these washers, like these spring-loaded washers that would uh, squash shut as it sucked air through. I believe is the story. And you couldn't actually check it by hand. Like if you, you know, look at it by hand, like hand inspect it, it didn't move. Yeah, they had water to air intercoolers. That's right. And the only way to, to, you know, discover the fact that these things were opening up uh, was to completely disassemble them and like check it in a certain way. So there you go. What was it? Smokey Yannick, I think it was, he said something about if you ain't cheating, you ain't racing or something like that. Oh, so th for those of you who have been here for this entire stream and were with us for the uh, HKS part of the show, this is like the intake that they're, that they're building, except they're going to make, be making it out of carbon fiber. So that's sort of the design. Four-door with the 26. It'd be pretty nice to have, I reckon. I don't know, man. GDRs are... Mm. I just like four-doors. Coupe would be good, too. I don't know. Let's see. Remember when I, I put up that... Uh, what did I put? I put it on Instagram, like a survey. I think we're done here. Have we seen everything? We've seen everything. Okay, let's go back to the other hall. I put that survey survey up on Instagram saying, should I buy an R34 or an S15 next? And everyone said, uh, I think two thirds of people said S15. So I bought an S15. Should have ignored it. <laughs> Well, that S15 came up at the, at the right time, too, so... Do you want some free OEM tail lights for your S15? I'm, I'm pretty sure I can cop those okay. That's not that's not a problem. 34 four-door with a 26? Yeah, that would be nice. When's the next Itasha meet? There is an Itasha meet in March. And I will be entering it. Pog. With what car will I be entering it with? Will I be entering it with a car? Question mark. Smug face. It's not going to be the S15, I guarantee you that.
<laughs> All right, let's go to the, to the other hall. Not the van, dude. That's my family car. That is not... That doesn't even have stickers on it. I've been hesitant to put stickers on that, like, just because of the way... Oh, no more. Not the beans, <laughs> come on man. Yeah, I've been hesitant to even sticker up my van after I don't know, like the yeah, the it's it's nice having it be a bit more inconspicuous than the old van. Like one time with the old van, I was sitting at a convenience store once. I was just like sitting outside the convenience store, I guess, like eating or drinking whatever it is I just bought. And this guy runs up to the car and like knocks on the window. And I, the way he ran up, I thought he was like going to try and open the door and stab me or something. He knocks on the window, like, knock, knock, knock. I'm like, oh, fuck, what? And he looked, he was like grinning at me like crazy. So I'm like, okay, so I opened the door. I'm like, yeah, like, yes? And he's like, no, Riara. I'm like, oh, th- okay, fine, thank you. Uh, you're not going to stab me. He just wanted, a, he wanted a photo and he wanted to put his sticker on there, which I was fine with. Well, just the way he run up, you know when someone runs up in your like three-quarter rear vision like your blind spot so you know if when someone runs up three quarters behind you it's like the most scary thing isn't it but i mean fair enough in a car you if some if you're parked at a convenience store and someone's going to walk up to it like 90 percent of the time they're going to walk up from behind it but still It's not a fake story, it's real. It's not even a good story, what are you talking about? Well, I don't mean blind spot as in you can't see. I mean, you can, I mean, you've got rear view mirrors and you've got like, you notice shit. You know, if someone's running up behind you, you tend to notice it. That guy has bad social skills. (laughs) I think he was just excited. Because I opened through, he's like, no, 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 dude. Because he, he wanted a photo. Now, what hall... What hall is... Seo's stand? I forgot now. Where are we? West. Uh, it's one down, I think, isn't it? Oh, that's one of those drift girls that's, um, they've got some drift girl thing going on. I don't know, I've sort of tried to find out about it, but it's, they're kind of, I don't know, not really being too forward about it, so. Hall D. There is no, is there a Hall D? There's no Hall D. Hall D's nuts. Sorry. Middle Hall, Tuna Hall. Was it? Oh, you're right. Hang on, where are we? Oh, did we miss that far row? Oh yeah, you're right, Dunlop, they're over there. Okay, well we might as well go down here and just walk through. I think we missed some of these uh, like VIP style cars over here. Tuna, tuna, tuner, tuner. Tuner cars. Oh, dude, there was a car here one time, I think it was a Celsius or something, and it had dicks for door handles. Like big dicks. was uh, quite shocking. I was uh, shocked and appalled.
This looks like uh, a water slide, doesn't it? Doesn't this, this looks like a like the colour scheme you'd see at a water park? <laughs> Nickelodeon? Uh, is that what I'm thinking of? Nickelodeon dungeon? I like it. Oh, it's got Jordan floor mats. Wow, 1990s, bro. Blippy? What the hell is Blippy? Yeah, I mean, it's a look. <laughs> International VIP car and custom car. Ah, okay, so this is where we get, uh, this is where we get our seats retrimmed. That's nice. Nissan President, oh my. Ladies. <laughs> That's right, I have sex. That's what this car says. Looks like a car from Cyberpunk 2077. It, it does look cool, doesn't it? Wow. You don't really see many uh, crowns done up in this style. Wait, I just heard Naoki's voice. That's Naoki. I just heard his voice. He's, he's, oh, there he is. He has such an obvious voice. <laughs> oh, Rocky Auto. Oh, God, there's like a million dollars worth of cars here now by these days. A Ken Medi GTR. Of which there were very few made. So the rarest GTR, well, maybe not the rarest GTR, but as far as uh, non small volume GTR editions go. It's one of the rarest ones. And also this one here, the gold 2000 GT. <laughs> oh wait, this is the, oh wait, it's not real. This is the, um, this is the rebodied one. Okay, so you can, can you see the uh, see the switch gear there? That's very obviously not from the 1970s. This is the one that's uh, based on an R32. That's right. Forgot about that. Have they re didn't it used to be a different color? Two door GTS, the base with uh, KB KPGC 110 GTR Ken Medi. Ah, okay. So technically it's an R32. Technically. Oh well. They have one of these for a rental for a while. I think you could actually go and rent one to drive it around. But it was automatic and I don't, I don't know what the point of that would be. Come on. Hey, hello. Hello. Hey. Hello. <laughs> 今ちょっと生配信してるからあ生配信ナオキはいえいえーチャンピオンおお私がチャンピオンですナンバーワン<笑><笑>ああ外の会場で車は外でしょそうそうそうホールにいや明日はまだバーンアウトしますからあホールの中にうん違うあホールの中<笑>ホールの中 OK これ今からバーンアウトします<笑>いいないいなえー、ちょっとこの前がホールどっかの中にショーの後バーンアウトしたらなんかハゲあの頭剃ったでしょああ、なんかあったね。<笑>なんかあった、なんか、ね、なんかあった、ね、あったかな。バーナーとバーナー昔ね。<笑>そうそうそう、バーナーとね。ありがとう。が、じゃあ、今年も
いい走り見せてください頑張りますはい<笑> D1 ドライバーね森森森森、うん、D1 ドライバーあ,あ、森さん。森さんだよ。あ、こんにちは。あ、なんかもう。あ,あ,あ,あ,あ、あれ、うん、はい。あれですね。よろしく。あれ、あれ、知ってる、知ってる。あ、知ってる。あ、あのー。今生配信してます。お、生配信。ディワン、ヒーズディワンドライバー。え、え、駅、あ、駅前には何ですか。駅前に。うん、ある、あるトラック。あるトラック。うん、あ、アメリカの。うん、どこ、日本の。日本の。あ、うん、あ、えー、名古屋じゃなくて、その辺の。な、なんか。捨てる。素晴らしい音ですよ。そうそうそう。音音はいいね。音。音<笑>音,音も音も,いい音も,音もいいですね。じゃあ他他何がいいですか。他えあの。覚えてねえじゃねえか。そう。So he drives、uh, he drives the、uh, GP Sports 180 SX in D1 Grand Prix, which has the best sounding 2JZ ever. そうそうそう。そう。その best 2JZ sound。あ、best best 2JZ ってことはエンジンだけいいってこと。違う yeah, only, only the end. 英語でベストドライバーという言葉を聞いた。Uh, uh, <laughs> he's, he's teasing him saying that only the engine sound is good. やらないです、やらないです。じゃあ、これはあの一番綺麗な音、ね、こっちの方が一番下品な音。下品。下品。ばばばばば。えっと、いつは、えっと、バト、バトドライバー。<laughs> <笑>まあまあチャンピオンだからねもう,うもう何も言えないね。ね。あとまだまだ言うよ。まだなんか言うよ。This is a あのロングサイド。もうもうもういいよもういいよいいよひどいひどい。じゃあ今年もあのいい走り見せてください。ありがとうございます。頑張ってください。頑張ってください。ちゃんと頭下げなさい。OK、じゃあちょっと強くするあのチャットに。OK、そう、そう、what they were saying was、OK、so I said、um,、so his car、so Mori's car、all right、let me let me explain。so this is GP Sports、uh,、it used to be owned by a different guy、and I think they went bankrupt or something like that、and that guy there、Mori、uh,、bought them out、and continued with the business。so。Uh, he drives in Deering Grand Prix. If you watch the Deering Grand Prix broadcasts, he drives the 2JZ powered 180SX, which is a really, really, really nice sounding car. It's the、uh, exhaust manifold on that car is made by a company called Alltrack, which is based in Nagano, and they are known for having very, very high quality hand built exhaust manifolds. And I said that,、uh, man, your, your exhaust, your car sounds so good. And now he's like, yeah, yeah, just the sound, right? Like, that's what's good about that car, right? The sound. <laughs> and he's, you know, in, 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 you know meaning, uh, meaning that、uh, he sucks as a driver. And then now he keeps going and saying, like, oh, he's Mr. Handbrake and stuff like that. <laughs> he was basically just teasing him and saying that he sucks. And Mori, he doesn't do that well. I mean, but he's still. Yeah, he still does okay. He still makes the top 16 sometimes. So,、uh, yeah, so that, that, that was that interaction you just saw there. It's quite funny. This is.、Uh, who drives this in lights? Or more. I can't read it. I don't know. It's a D1 Lights car. So, chat,、um, I have a D1 Lights license. And、um, back in the day when it was still D1 street legal, you could kind of get away with a car that wasn't crazily built. These days, you kind of can't. Like, these are pretty close to being a D1 car.、Uh, maybe a bit less power and some less crazy parts. Like, the, you know. The expensive stuff like diffs and gearboxes and stuff like that are not quite as high level. So, yeah.、Um, I'm gonna forget about that for a while and just do some regional stuff and just actually try and get good. And if I can't do that, then I'll just forget about it. But I do, I do have a lights license. And I did renew it, don't worry. I still have it. I didn't forget to renew it. But goddamn, lights is so. Amazing these days to watch. 
like if you watch the uh, the rounds that they actually broadcast on the D1 Grand Prix channel like I did do them in English sometimes the driving is so good everyone drives really close and the battles are good but no one's driving like ultra aggressive or dirty or anything like that it's all just really clean driving so yeah I don't know I have a plan though I have a plan and I have deadlines so if it works out it works out if it doesn't work out it doesn't work out but look don't worry we're gonna have lots of fun along the way there's gonna be lots of uh, you know things happening and cool stuff so don't worry about it we'll do our best <sighs> this is the new high ace isn't it yeah. These new high asses are huge. What the dog doing? These new high asses are ridiculously big. I get the feeling that they had to design them for the overseas market a bit more so than the Japanese market. Because remember, back in the day, high asses ended like high asses looked like that. Like they ended there. Now they're all the way out here for, uh, I mean, yeah, obviously for crash uh, safety and stuff like that, they need to be longer. But uh, I think they've designed them more for the Southeast Asian market. I'm just guessing. I have no idea. I'm just sort of just going by the way they've designed them. Could be wrong. The highest was losing to the other offerings due to a lack of flat floor. So they made them bigger. Yeah, fair enough. I am coming to press day every year from now on. This is so good. I'm assuming this is not an actual F1 car. It's a replica, right? It's not a real Tyrrell. It's real? Really? No, that is real? Okay, I've never seen a Tyrrell before. No, it's a lot smaller than I thought it was. It does look like the real one. It's got my name on it. Peterson. Is there a thing for it or not? That is real. But homo no? Replica is all. This all? Chat, you're full of shit. It's a replica. Ah! <laughs> わあ、本物。本物だけど。あ、同じサイズだけど。はい、あの、本当は<笑> So, it was uh, made by this guy here. Custom build and restoration of Watahiki in Ibaragi. Hand build Formula One. That's <laughs> enough. Yeah, but look, it, it passes the you know, quick look. 
<laughs> okay, F1 nerds. It didn't run Avon tires though, did it? It didn't run Avons though, back then. Yeah, look, the, it's got like... It's got like Toyota tie rod ends on it. It ran good years. There you go. Yeah, see? But still, that's pretty good. That's kind of cool. That was a, a subplot in Shakotan Boogie where they, uh, they built open wheel racing cars and drove them on the street. It was pretty funny. Holy crap. <laughs> New NSX. This is a big screen. Oh, yeah, this is the uh, the Arta NSX. Good. I gotta say though, hybrid cars, uh, I don't know, I'm still on the fence with them, but I will say this it would be cool to have an, ele an electric engine to leave your house first thing in the morning and not have to uh, wake up the neighbors and then you know fire up the engine a bit further down the road. That would be cool. Get yourself a clean pair of underwear. We're taking the, the bike down to Sturgis for the weekend. <laughs> there you go, new century. They still look very understated on the street. It's got uh, Brembo's and what wheels are those? Artisan. I don't know that brand. Is that a Harley? It is. So if you missed this before, this is a Hakoska Skyline with a NASCAR engine that uh, Daigo Saito put together for these guys. Let the eagle soar. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, these guys are uh, interesting. For sure. All right, let's go back to the stand with, uh, let's go back to our home base. Okay. Mitsuoka buddy? What is wait, what? Okay. Wait, what? 
What is it even based on? It's two-wheel drive, by the way. What is this? It's a, it's a Mitsuoka, buddy. But what is it based on? What is... What is it? Mitsubishi ASX? RAV4? Can someone even tell? <laughs> well, yeah, it's meant to look like a blazer, but it's not a blazer. A Harrier? Uh, it's not a... Uh, uh, no, it's not a Harrier. No, it'd be a J... Wait, wait, let's have a look. Does it say on the... On the interior? Hang on. Oh, I don't even know. Is this an American car? It is a RAV4. Wait, if we, can we stand here and look at the, the the side profile? It's the new RAV4. Okay, there you go. <laughs> so it's a RAV4, um, but it's a Chevy Blazer. What do you think? Or is it meant to look like a Lincoln? <laughs> All the Americans in chat are going, ah! Oh yeah, here we go, here's another, yet another uh, G-Wagon style Jimny. You don't, you don't like it? Yeah, I, I don't blame you. All right, all right, let's keep going. Let's uh, change the flavor a bit. Oh no, this is where all the ugly cars are. That's true. Well, not here, these are cool. Once again, the Nats cars. If you didn't catch them before, they'll be in the VOD. They're worth looking at. I'm home. Ah, oh, welcome home. Welcome home. <laughs> Is this going to be uploaded on YouTube? Yes, it will. I'll, I'll edit down the, uh, the boring parts and make it a bit uh, easier to watch. I don't know if I'll put it on the main channel. Uh, or the second channel. It might go on the second channel because I haven't really put much effort into like trying to film it like a YouTube video, but I don't know. We'll see. Oh. Oh, we didn't look at this one before. The uh, the active. いや、2.6だけど。2.6。うん。2.4。あの、2.4のエンジンじゃなくていい。ロックする。これのがいい。そうだね。うん。まあ、うん、そうだね。ちょっと部品が部品代が高いね。ちょっと。1号変えちゃ
But on the other hand, though, a turbo sounds really good, and it will actually have speed. So, see, so you're all you're all split like 50-50. It's literally half. Yeah, right. NA sounds good, right? No, don't make a poll. Don't make a poll. ITB NA. See, that's the thing. We could go. We could get like an ITB setup from like the, the same guy we saw. We saw in the last video, Tommy Kuda. Like, oh, actually, I'm gonna look like a creeper. Uh, it would. Go man, go man, go man, go man. Stressimashita, stressimashita. So it would, um, yeah, it'd sound good, but it would be really slow, especially since it's an RV20. Supercharger. I don't even think I make supercharger kits for these. I don't know if you can even find one. So, I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, I don't know. Next, the next thing is the S15. That's the first thing to get back on the street. But uh, 32 will come back. Still not 100% decided what we're going to do with that. I mean, it would be cool to go kind of retro like this. And that would mean we'd have a big group of cars that all look fairly similar. We could all drive together. It would be a lot of fun to do. But, I mean, it's already turbo, so it's not like we're making it, it's an NA car and we're just staying NA. Get another 32, one ITB, one turbo. I mean, that's a thought. Yeah, big gang of purple 32s all slamming around on 16s. It would be kind of nice. So, yeah, I don't know. Is the turbo still blown? Yeah, it's in the same condition. I mean, it runs fine. It's just the turbo's blown. That's it. And honestly, the first, maybe the first thing to do is just put a turbo on and drive it a bit. Like, I just get it, I can just take it to Nico Circuit because it's not too far from CEO's shop. Uh, Nico's probably, actually, Scuba is the closest one, but Nico's still pretty close. NA for the snow, turbo for tarmac. Uh, yeah, that would mean I'd have to register it, though. I don't want to do that. <laughs> 33 BN Sports I guess they're sponsoring these uh, FD cars for a uh, good ride team Oh, wait, we didn't even see this yet. This is the new... Oh, wait a minute. Why is there a mirror there? Oh, what? Oh, that's clever. Here you go. You can see the car in white. Or you can see it in... Red. Oh, it's like magic. Oh, oh. Hang on. So this side is stock. And it, ah, I see. So this side of the car, this is what the new F, the uh, GR86 looks like standard. And then, duh, 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 duh. this is what it looks like wide body. So, wait, you know what this means? Let me just look at this again. Okay, let's walk up to it. Right, so we have a mirror in front of this car, this uh, GR86 on the ver in the uh, vertex stand. If we go over here, here we go. Standard. Wide body. So what this means is they didn't have time to get the entire car done. <laughs> uh, I used to work with a director, and his catchphrase was, make it a feature. So when, when something is, uh, is not so good, like for, back, for lack of better words, when it's shit, you go, no, 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 it's meant to be like that. <laughs> That's exactly what this is. Mirrors, yeah, look, it's done, look. It's already finished. <laughs> That's kind of clever. So the Vertex Edge range, so the Edge, is, they've been making it for a while now, like the S15 Edge. The edge is like the big wide body one. No more. And 
So I'm guessing this is just the uh, the unfinished, you know, the original. That's probably like foam, like foam under that. Yeah, see, it's not quite, it's not quite done. It's not quite finished. <laughs> Looks alright though. What do you think? Looks good. In, yeah, red suits the. Uh, Vertex cars, doesn't it? Then tell me the exhausts are different too. Um, this side has the Vertex exhaust on it, and this one is... Oh no, it does have a, a full afterback. I mean, it's like, it's not a left and right. It's like a, like a back box with a split pipe, so I guess that's why. That's clever. It looks like an RX-8 on the rear. I can see what you mean. Yeah, I can see what you mean by that. Normal. Why, buddy? <laughs> And Ueno's D1 Grand Prix car. So Ueno's D1 Grand Prix car had a big crash <laughs> this season, like a huge crash. It's been repaired multiple times. I think maybe that's why they didn't have enough time to get the 8.6 done. Maybe. And a lot of you seem to like these fair ladies over here, so we'll go have another look at them. Normal better? Well, that's good. I mean, if, if a car can look good, normal, like standard, then why, yeah, why not? These are cool. They've got that, uh, you know, obviously rough welt style to them without being too much of an obvious inspiration. Well, I guess it is kind of obvious. <laughs> they still look cool. Did I look at Naoki's S15? I did. Uh, we saw it in the hall. We walked past it. It's out there in the hallway. Um, did we? Yeah, we did. Okay. Alrighty. So there you go. That's uh, pretty much been the entire Tokyo Auto Salon. It's pretty easy to go and look at all of it. Uh, when there's not too many people here on media day and also uh, limited ticket sales today as well Just for obvious reasons what are all those dots what are we dotting for oh, that's okay I saw I, I saw it there don't worry Can you show Naoki's car again if it's not too far? Um, yeah, alright, let's walk. I want to go get a drink anyway, so let's go out to the hall. What time is it? It's uh, almost 7 o'clock. Yeah, so they'll be they'll be closing down soon. I think today goes until like 8 on eight o'clock, I think. It's maybe 7, so we've got like 10 minutes to go. Thank you, Wes, for the gifted subs. Please get food. You have been streaming for six hours. I don't need food. Oh, I saw this on the internet. This is a Nissan Figaro time attack car. Look. How are you supposed to change the spark plugs on that? Is it even possible? You have to pull the engine out every time you want to change the spark plugs. Yeah, Figaro. It was one of those, uh, you know, retro style 
cars like the uh, like the POW. Oh, wait a minute. Nav, are you here? What do you want? Nav check. Nav room check. Can you uh, message me on um, Discord? So chat, we have a guy, here we go. Unknown.png. I hate it when people send me. You want the good smile mask? Um, oh, is it all inside? Hang on. Are they closed? Oh, no, they're not closed. That made it easy. Ah, at the. S N. N. Now this one. The good smile mask. Yes. Okay. On its mask. So one of my mods likes this stuff, so I had to buy it for him. Ooh. stuff so I just had to copy him a little bit of merch now the music that we all hate in Japan uh, the go home music when they play old Lang sign it means we're about to close go home They're playing old Lang Sign. That means we gotta go home now. Ugh. Good day. Thankfully, we were able to get uh, the stream working, thankfully. I was about an hour late because I wasn't able to get onto the server that I normally use. But uh, luckily, I think the stream quality has been pretty good all day. Actually, let's just go over here so I can... I can talk to stream. All right, as you can hear, the music playing right now, all dang sign means today is over and done with. And I just want to say thank you to all these people here. These are my tier three subs over on Patreon. Big response on the Patreon. I was really surprised. It's still going. I thought it would like go up when uh, you know, everyone was sorry because the car burned and I thought it would go down after that because everyone was like, oh, yeah, I contributed. But it's staying and it's going up and up and up. So obviously you guys enjoyed the amount of videos I put out last year in November and December. Looking forward to putting out lots of videos this year too. So once again, thank you very much. Here's some more videos for you to watch and thanks for watching. See you next time. Ah, bug is like the mama. あ、はい、ありがとうございます。多分これ潰すから。ごめん。失礼です。<笑><笑>
行政